the way I look at it is, is we have two components. Obviously, one, we have the models, which obviously is what an, it's like the engine that allows us to get places. But data is definitely the fuel for this, right? And in terms of ethics, I think we have a key component, which is obviously data. There is a new concept that is coming. I would say it's becoming more and more common or you start to hear more and more, which is this data-centric AI. And when people talk about data-centric AI, for me, it's talking about ethics because it's really about how can I have data that is appropriate for any kind of AI model. Let me put you an example. For example, if you are going to do sentiment analysis and you're going to apply it to insurance, right? And you want to classify certain kind of interactions with your clients, if you don't really have a well-curated, very clean kind of training set for your for your algorithms, you you, you risk to to misclassify and you risk to to really get the, the wrong results, right? So for me, in terms of ethics, one of the main aspect today is to have a data-centric approach to artificial intelligence, in which more and more you will need to curate your data sets, right? Before using them for any training purpose. In fact, one of the discussions I have in my in my let's say in me every in my every everyday activities is really this concept about that we need to have dedicated data sets that are suitable for for machine learning and AI, right? That we really need to put a lot of uh, controls and we need to put a lot of emphasis in creating these data sets and trying to make sure that we they are well balanced, they are well um, labeled, that it can actually be used uh, in any kind of task, uh, in any kind of AI task, right? So I think that's a key aspect to start, right? Yeah. I think curation, data set versioning also will be very important in terms of from, from the technical point of view. And the second point of view, obviously, is, is the models itself, right? What kind of models you have, explainability of these models, how can you explain how it worked, how they work, uh, how they get to the conclusions they get. And number three, I think, has to do a lot of with the actual applications and how do you use models, right? And I think that's one of the biggest concerns around the ethical use of AI, because basically, if you think about bad actors using these kind of technologies for purposes, for example, like impersonating people or fraud or any other kind of things, I think it's a very important aspect to, to take in consideration, right? The actual applications and products that are put in the market, even they can be created with very, very good intentions. They could be using like very clean, very good data sets, but if they are not using it the right way, it's still, there's still danger of non-ethical use of them.